I don't think they will call them Pogo Princesses there, though. Um, coming up, we've got... Kumo? Kumo Kumo. We got... Be ready. I am from Palau Hula, or now Pula Hula, or now Pula, under the direction of Kumo Hula, which is Rena. We hail from Oahu. Um, uh, for all our purpose, I have Oahu Pane Ohe. We also have a halal here on the big island in Hilo. We practice at um, Wine Paradise Park okay. as well as Prince Pedro Plaza. If you are on that side, come check us out. Um, today we're going to start off with our work that I come with, which is where most of the girls, half of the girls come from, the other half comes from Hilo. Without further ado, we'll make a pack up. Oh, yeah. 
two sisters, Malia and Kapua, they've been on Halal dancing since they're Kiki's, I couldn't hear their age. The little, the little, the little you know, I, seen her I, 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 um, So they're going to bring you a song that is an old school favorite, Papalina Lahi Lahi, which talks about the rosy red cheeks. Thank you for joining us. 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 Ya 
Ume hana ike ini Ahi kapu If we do for you. One of our favorites, and, and again, is a I don't know if my brother brother is still around, Jason Costa with Kawaii Lula. Um, this is for you, brother, um, and uh, my, my love for you and your family at this time. At this time. So. <laughs> Oh, 
But the comet that appeared before his birth prophesied an even greater destiny. In 1758, a comet streaked across the district of Kohala at a place called Kukuiki, striking fear to all who witnessed its awesome travel. Alapai, ruling chief of Hawaii, was even more fearful. He assembled at his court the Council of Chiefs and the Kahunas, skilled in interpreting the signs of nature. The learned Kahunas pointed out that the comet was indeed a sign from the gods that a child destined to be the mightiest ruler of Hawaii was to be born to Alapai's niece, Kekui Apoiva. Alapai's fears were confirmed for it was rumored that the infant his niece was about to bear at a remote place in Kohala was sired by Kahikili, the ruling chief of Maui, who boasted that Hawaii would someday come under his rules. Alapai decreed that the infant be killed at birth. His niece, anticipating Alapai's decree, plotted with her loyal retainers to rescue the expected child. It was in a simple hut at Kohala that Kekui Apoiva awaited the birth of her child. As the time of the birth drew near, the gods of her ancestors and the Amakua, or spirits of her family, stirred the waters of the sea and angry breakers dashed against the shores. The winds built up into mighty gusts. The rains came pelting down, then in torrents, plunging the land into mist. All the valleys of Kohala reverberated with the sound of thunder. During the darkness, Kekui Apoiva gave birth to a male child. But with the coming of dawn, the infant had disappeared as mysteriously as the storm. peaceful morning belied the frantic search for the infant made by Alapai's executioners as they went from village to village with orders to kill anyone in possession of the infant. Villagers were brutally questioned that huts of suspicious persons were set on fire, mm. but the infant could not be found. However, a rainbow, a sign of royal birth, persisted over Kohala. Nayole, a chief of Kohala, had rescued the child. Because of Nayole's knowledge of the mountains and the almost inaccessible places of Kohala, he was entrusted with the care of the infant by Alapai's niece. The valley Nioli selected to go into hiding was watered by towering cascades that fed the valley's many streams, making the abundant growth of plant foods possible. The taro plants grew in the marshy soil of the valley. Plant bananas hung heavy on the stalk. And ohia eye, or mountain apples, grew wild without need of cultivation. It was in this valley that Nayole and his younger sister, Keikunui Alimoku, took on the responsibilities of Kahu, or guardian, for the infant of great promise. They named him Paiea. So well hidden was the valley Nayole had selected as their hideaway that no one managed to find their whereabouts over the passing years. <coughs> No child in all Hawaii received more care and devotion than Paihea. Each day, Kekunui Alemoku massaged the child's body to develop and shape the muscles, for she was an expert in the art of lomi lomi. Paihea came to know and to recognize the almost endless canopy of leaves above them. As his awareness increased, the jungle was no longer a tangle of green. The kukui nut was the source of oil for the stone lamps. Ulu was delicious when baked, Ooh. sweet and filling like the sweet potato. Sugar cane or coal, its red stalks were filled with sweet juice in its fibrous body. The taro plant was the most nutritious single food of all plants in Hawaii. Mm. Mm. pointed out to Paea all the useful plants to man. 
boy made from the taro root was Paella's favorite food and what fun he had in eating it. Mấy đứa trẻ cho mình múc theo con như ly á, cái tăng rô này là cái nóng nhiệt đã thay vì bột tê tô, ăn tốt hơn bột tê tô. Nó nhiều, nhiều, nhiều trí sinh quay nó gút lắm. Paella's most adventurous moments were deep in the narrow amphitheater where the Lacey Falls dropped into a pool lit by the high noon sun. Here in the pool, the boy learned to swim and to recognize the many edible creatures in the mountain streams.
surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royalties. Surfing was the most popular sport among the royal
I really like to throw a can of uh, sunscreen in. Volcano in Hawaii. <laughs> Okay, no. Okay, no. In uh, Hawaii. It does feel brighter. On uh, June 11, about 9:30 p.m. in Hawaii, Big Island. Uh, here near volcano, the most active volcano in the world. Active since 1983 until now. But uh, May 3rd, 2018, start to uh, blow up more lava and reach lava, reach ocean on May 3rd, 2018. stand on the highway to shoot this picture in Hawaii, big island, about 25 kilometers 
away from Hilo. About 9.30 p.m. on June 11, 2018. Lava shoot up right now. Volcano in uh, Big Island, Hawaii on June 11, 2018 at 9.30 p.m. the most active volcano in the world active since 1983 recently uh, this volcano uh, flare up on May 3rd 2018 a lot of lava flow into the ocean and reach the ocean on May 30th, 2018. President Obama. I mean, this goes back for 25 years. This should have happened. I was given a very tough hand. I was given this. I was given the Arandium and plenty of other problems. But we are um, we're doing really well. And the Arandium, I have to be honest, we I did it because nuclear is always number one to me. Nuclear is number one. But on the Arandium, I think Iran is a different country now than it was three or four months ago. I don't think they're looking so much to the Mediterranean. I don't think they're looking so much at Syria like they were with total confidence. I don't think they're so confident right now. But I hope, with that being said, I hope that at the appropriate time, after these sanctions kick in, and they are brutal, what we've put on 
Iran. I hope that they're going to come back and negotiate a real deal because I'd love to be able to do that. But right now it's too soon for that. Yes, Mr. please. President, you also did uh, talk about establishing diplomatic relations, yeah. uh, changing, exchanging ambassadors. How long before that happens? Uh, good question. Uh, hopefully soon, but we'll have to get things moving first. Very, a little bit early for that. We have to get things moving. Yes, go ahead. Hi. Can you clarify when you said you're stopping war games? So yeah. you are stopping the military exercises with South Korea? Yeah, we've done exercises for a long period of time working with South Korea. And uh, we call them war games, and I call them war games, and they're tremendously expensive. The amount of money that we spend on that is incredible. And South Korea contributes, but not 100%, which is certainly a subject that we have to talk to them about also. And that has to do with the military expense and also the trade. So uh, we're doing that. We actually have a new deal with South Korea in terms of the hey, wow. We have to talk to them. We have to talk to many countries about treating us fairly. But the war games are very expensive. We pay for a big majority of them. We fly in bombers from Guam. I said it when I first started, I said, where did the bombers come from? Guam, nearby. I said, oh, great, nearby. Where's nearby? Six and a half hours. Six and a half hours, that's a long time for these big, massive planes to be flying to South Korea to practice and then drop bombs all over the place and then go back to Guam. I know a lot about airplanes. It's very expensive. And, and I didn't like it. And what I, what I did say is, and I think it's very provocative. I have to tell you, Jennifer, it's a very provocative uh, situation. When, when I see that, and you have a country right next to it. So under the circumstances that we're negotiating a very comprehensive, complete deal, I think it's inappropriate to be having war games. So number one, we save money a lot. And number two, uh, it really is something that I think they very much appreciated. Does North Korea give you something in return? Well, we've gotten, you know, I've, I've heard that. I mean, some of the, the people that, uh, I don't know, maybe they really mean it. I don't, I don't always want to go against the press because I just don't, especially not today. This is too important. But I noticed that some of the people are saying that uh, the president has agreed to meet He's given up so much. I gave up nothing. I'm here. I haven't slept in 25 hours, but I thought it was appropriate to do, because we've been negotiating for literally round the clock with them and with us and with John and with Mike and a whole team of very talented people. But we haven't given up anything other than you're right. I agreed to meet. And I think the meeting was every bit as good for the United States as it was for North Korea. But I, I just wrote down some of the things, and they, you know, they sure, they got a meeting. But only a person that dislikes Donald Trump would say that I've agreed to make a, or I, I've agreed to take a period of time and come here and meet. And that's good, but I think it's great for us and I, as a country, and I think it's good for them. But what did they do? to justify this meeting. Secured commitment for complete denuclearization. That's the big thing. They secured the release of three American hostages. They already gave them to us two months ago. These people now living happily back in their homes with their families. And it was pretty rough for them, to put it mildly. Secured the commitment to recover the remains, including these are of fallen heroes. And they're giving a commitment, they're starting it immediately to recover the remains. And I just went through how many people asked me about it. I was amazed actually. So many people would ask me, is it possible? Is it possible? At that time we had no relationship to Chairman Kim or to anybody else in North Korea. You know, it was a very closed society. Uh, so we're getting the remains back. Secure the halt of all missile and nuclear tests. For how long has it been? Seven months? You haven't had a missile go up. For seven months you haven't had a nuclear test. You haven't had a nuclear explosion. I remember a nuclear event took place, 8.8 .8 on the Richter scale. And they announced, I heard it on the radio, they announced that a massive 
you know, an earthquake took place somewhere in Asia. And then they said it was in North Korea, and then they found out it was a nuclear test. I said, I never heard of a Richter scale in the high eights. And if you look, there has been no missile launches. They've blown up their missile area that's going to take place. That has not been written into the contract. We're going to give you the exact details on that. But they secured a hold of all missiles and of all nuclear tests. They secured the closure of their single primary nuclear test, flight, test site, all three of them. They're in an area that's common around each other. They secured the closure. They secured the commitment to destroy the missile engine testing site. That was not in your agreement. I got that after we signed the agreement. I said, do me a favor. You've got this missile engine testing site. We know where it is because of the heat. We, it's incredible the equipment we have, to be honest with you. I said, can you close it up? You couldn't close it up. And you know, Seoul has 28 million people. We think we have big cities. You look at New York where it has 8 million people. We think it's a big city. Seoul has 28 million people. Think of that. And it's right next to the border. It's right next to the DMZ. It's right there. I mean, if this would have happened, I think, you know, I've heard, oh, 100,000 people. I think you could have lost 20 million people, 30 million people. This is really an honor for me to be doing this because I think, you know, potentially you could have lost, you know, 30, 40, 50 million people. The city of Seoul, one of the biggest cities in the world, is right next to the, the border. You once spoke about fire and fury. Is that no longer the case? Well, at that time we needed perhaps fire and fury because we could not have allowed uh, that kind of capability from the standpoint of the United States. And certainly Japan wasn't going to allow it either. Japan is right next door. Well, wait, Mr. President, could you tell us about the video that you showed before this? Yeah. When did you show that to him? What was the goal Today. Here? Yeah. We had it made up by some, I hope you liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was interesting enough to show. Uh, one in English and one in Korean. And we had it made up. Uh, I showed it to him today, actually during the meeting, toward the end of the meeting. And I think he loved it. He, they were given, we didn't have a big screen like you have the luxury of having, we didn't need it because we had it on a cassette and an iPad and they played it. And uh, about eight of their representatives were watching it and I thought they were fascinated by it. I thought it was well done. I showed it to you because that's the future. I mean, that could very well be the future. And the other alternative is just not a very good alternative. It's just not good. But um, I showed it because I really want him to do something. Now, I don't think I had to show it because I really believe he wants to, I think he wants to get it done. Yes, go ahead. How's Staten Island Ferry doing, okay? He wrote the best story about me with the Staten Island Ferry and after that he's never written a good story. I don't know what, I don't know what happened, it's a long time ago. Mr. President, it's been a busy uh, week for you on the international stage. You're leaving this summit here in Singapore having determined that Kim Jong-un is a talented man. You left the G7 summit a few days ago in Canada having determined that Prime Minister Trudeau is weak uh, and dishonest. What do you say to America's allies who worry that you might be jeopardizing our long-term alliances and who worry that you might be treating our historic friends as enemies and our historic enemies as friends? Well, first, first of all, I think it's a very fair question. I had a very good meeting with the G7, and I left the meeting, and I'll be honest, uh, we are being taken advantage of by virtually every one of those countries, very, very seriously. Now, yeah, really did, I, other than he had a news conference, uh, that he had because he assumed I was in an airplane and I wasn't watching. He learned that's going to cost a lot of money for the people of Canada. He learned. You can't do that. You can't do that. We left. We had a very good relationship. I've had a good relationship with Justin. I have a good relationship with all. I have a very good relationship with Angela Merkel. But on NATO, we're paying 4.2%. She's paying 1% of a much smaller GDP than we are. We're paying 4.2% on a much larger. We're paying for... I mean, anyone can say from 60 to 90% of NATO. And we're protecting countries of Europe. And then on top of it, 
They kill us on trade. So we you just can't have it that way. It's unfair to our taxpayers and to our people. But no, I have a good relationship with Justin, and I have, a, I think, a very good relationship with Chairman Kim right now. I really do. I think, uh, I hope it's good, because if it is, we're going to solve a very big problem. I think we've gone a long way to solving it today. Should we keep going for a little while? <laughs> so I, I don't know, it's up to the legendary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Should we keep going, Sarah? Or? Okay, we'll go. Well, I don't care. Hey, you know, it just means we get home a little later in the evening, right? Yeah, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Hi, Mr. President. How are you? I'm nice, good. Nice. Welcome to Straits Times of Singapore. Welcome to the country. Thank you very I'm much. I hope you enjoyed our food. Beautiful country, I did. Uh, I... What is the immediate next step? Is there some ongoing dialogue? Yes. Well, we're getting together next week to go into the details. And that's and Secretary Pompeo, Pompeo, yeah, next week with John Bolton and our entire team to go over the details and to get this stuff done. We want to get it done, he wants to get it 